Warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. Welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, coming in your ears via podcast land, whether Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, Amazon Music. Amazon Music as well. You get a Prime membership. <laughs> I am your host. My name is Jay, and I am the sexy V. The very sexy V, and yes, I looked over there. I had to make sure that I'm seeing some beautiful titties. Waiting for those titties. I'm waiting for those titties to pop out. And it, it is Titty Tuesday. Oh my god, it's Titty Tuesday, and your tits are fantastic. Go, <laughs> fuck, your tits are nice. Thank you. Oh, they're so perky and oh, so firm. And look at that. Look at you. You, you like push them up, and they just. Don't, just, don't don't move. <laughs> well, they fall back down a little bit, but those know. are the nicest fake looking real tits I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> no, I'm very happy with my my tits. I would say they're my best asset. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of good assets, but your tits are two of the best. Yes. And you and you <laughs> under undersold your tits when I first started talking to you, too. Well, I mean, you know, you're asking someone who didn't have the best self-confidence and self-esteem about her boobs. I'm like, well, I like them. I mean, they're my boobs. Like, <laughs> you know, I can't do anything about, well, I guess I could do something <laughs> about them, but I don't want to. I'm happy with them. Yeah, so. yeah. because I remember when we were first talking on, on Tinder, I was like, so uh, so you had nice boobs? And you're like, yeah, they're all right. You know, I like them. I'm like, yeah. Well, I didn't say they're all right. I'm like, yeah, you know, I I dig them. They're, they're my boobs. I like them. They're and- you know, I don't want them bigger. I don't think they're too small. I think they're, you know, a handful. And Yeah, more than a handful. Well, yeah, now they're more than a handful. They got bigger <laughs> after I got pregnant. Yeah. And they stayed bigger after I got pregnant and, you know, quit breastfeeding and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. They, they are fantastic titties. And I remember you coming over that first day to, to fuck. Yeah. And you took off your shirt. And I'm like, fuck. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, her tits are fake. <laughs> she's trying to play off that she is uh she doesn't have fake tits <laughs> yeah and, and you know it, it took me a while to ask you that too whether your tits were real or fake because i you know how do you come across you know to somebody and being like you know do you mind me asking are your tits fake well considering what we had talked about from Jump. <laughs> Why would that be weird to bring up right away? I don't know. I don't know. It's just. I mean, we some... talked about like, you know, wife swaps and, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, uh, after seeing your tits and touching them and playing with them firsthand, you know, for the first time, you know, and me thinking that they're, they're fake and you not saying nothing about it, I didn't know if it was something like you didn't want to talk about them being fake. Gotcha. Or whatever. Right. You know, and I didn't want to, you know, maybe you had a problem. You want to trigger me? Yeah, yeah I didn't want to <laughs> trigger something and scare you off or whatever. No, if they were fake, I would own it, you know. But no, I, I never did anything to my breasts. You know, I'm all about body mods and stuff like that. But no, yeah. definitely. So so you're on record. alone. You are on record on this podcast telling me that three years later that your tits are 100% real. 100% real. No augmentation. No, not at all. Very nice. Nope. Very I mean, hot. you would see scars. I mean, they do have the, the things where they can go through belly buttons and stuff like that. So Right, but... Or when, through your armpits. I've, I've heard them go through armpits before. Yeah, but you would see scars. I think you would definitely be able to feel, like, the bag. You know, like yeah. the actual implant. Yeah, because I will actually tell you, when I was feeling and playing with your tits, I... Thought they were fake tits because I've played with fake tits before. Yeah. Before I met you, and they felt, you know, as with as firm as they are, that I thought they were. I thought they were fake tits. Yeah, no. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> no, you didn't disappoint me. I mean, all real, baby. I mean, you know, chicks would probably look at your tits and probably be like, "Fuck, man, how'd that chick get those nice titties?" And you'd be like, "Homegrown." 
Homegrown. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we are a swinger podcast, like I said, and uh, we are charting in over 24 countries worldwide. It's pretty awesome. I believe that. And we're Thank still you. hanging on, and the numbers just keep on growing. You know, each release, you know, it is a higher number of downloads, and it's crazy. We're on episode 41 right now. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And we thank everybody for listening and continuing to listen to our episodes. Yep. And uh, we actually had somebody write into us because remember last episode I was talking about poppers? Yes. Remember? And uh, I guess. We had somebody write in. Let me see if I can bring it oh, up. Oh, and they uh, mentioned that and kind of explained uh, a little more about no, them. No, I can't find the because it was on uh, Instagram. They sent us a message on Instagram. Uh, let's see. Here it goes. Hello. First, let me say I love your hot and sexy podcast. Thank you very much. Second, on your last podcast where you mentioned poppers, I believe they are what. Back in the disco era in the 70s and early 80s was commonly a chemical called am- amyl nitrate or butyl nitrate. Please excuse my spelling. Well, I can't read to begin with. So Butyl nitrate, maybe? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Is that I a don't know. Thing? Either way. <laughs> it's not like we're doing them, so uh, you go, you go, we're sorry, watching the name. Sorry, okay. sorry to say I'm 64 and never used them personally, but did have a partner that did. And sexy V, your body is so fucking sexy. Why, thank you. <laughs> so we appreciate the listeners writing to us and yeah, absolutely uh, conversating with us about our actual podcast episodes. So yeah, we definitely. appreciate that. You know, because like I said, I had never come across poppers before, and they were doing no. them, and you were kind of still questioning it. And yeah, I had no, not my thing. So so, so we appreciate you guys writing in and. Educating us. Educating us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I butchered. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I butchered the the names of that. But yeah, you know, they would they'd sniff it in their nose, and they say that it gives them an incredible high orgasm. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, but then again, I also have heard of poppers with in, in the gay community where it opens up your butthole <laughs> for easier <laughs> anal sex. Well, why not use anal ease? <laughs> I. I don't or know. like a numbing gel, you know? I don't know. I, I have used anal ease in the back in the day. Really? And it kind of like numbed my penis too. Well, I'm sure if you put, I'm sure it would because it's not like it's only going to work on a specific part yeah. of the body. It's going to work wherever you put it. Yeah. So I'm sure you'd have a little side effect of, you know, if you were putting, you know, if you put it on some chick's ass and then you were banging her. Yeah, I guess like anal ease, they probably think that you're going to be using the condom anyway, so it's, you're not going to get the effects on your wiener. Hopefully, yeah, they're... But not me, I raw dog that shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I would imagine that was with your uh, wife at the yeah, time, yeah, that was so my it was wife a little at the time. different, yeah. so... <laughs> uh, but uh, where else can this podcast be found? So we are also on FullSwapRadio.com, which is a radio station that plays sex-friendly, swinger-friendly um, podcasts 24 hours a day. So you can check out ours uh, Monday, 8 a.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. And you can go to their website and listen to any new podcast you want to check out. Yep. Or you can download um, the app that they have. Yep, they got it for both Android and Apple phones. Yep. So uh, both, if you have both of the worlds of Apple and, what is it, not Galaxy, what is it? Android. Android, you can go out there and download that app. And I want to also congratulate Cole. He's the guy that runs Full Swap Radio. Uh, they, for the ASN Awards, they got like Humanitarian of the Year Award. Oh, for, congratulations. Uh, for their Casba uh, Cares. Okay. Where they, awesome. they you, know, you know, at their events and stuff like that, they'll raise money or they'll have like little, you know, things that they, they do to raise money. Yeah. And then they give it back to, you know, kids and stuff. That, That's awesome. Yeah. I love so, that. So they get the uh, humanitarian award. So congratulations to Cole yeah. and the Casba team out there. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. Well, uh, we are also on. Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, you can find us at um, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod on both Instagram and TikTok. And on Instagram, we do have a link tree, which you can get to our Discord. 
Yeah, and our Discord is closing in on 20,000 swingers on there. That's insane. It's crazy insane. That's a lot of swingers. It's a swinger society. Yeah. You can go out there and join the the Discord server of almost 20,000 swingers. And like I said, there's a bunch of rooms out there. If you have a certain kind of kink or a certain kind of thing you want to learn more about, you can go in to those chat rooms. Yep, and yeah. meet like-minded individuals. Yeah, definitely. So uh, go out there to our Discord and uh, sign up for Swinger Society. Well, uh, since we were sitting here talking about your titties, yes, where can they find pictures of your titties at? So you guys can find these sexy titties on OnlyFans. Uh, my username is Aonia XO. And slow it's- that down. It's A E O N I A X O. <laughs> and <laughs> want to make that clear so um, everybody gets that. And it is uh, half off for the first month. So it's $7.50 to get in the door. And you get access to everything. There's over, um, what, 1,400 pieces of content. You get access to everything, like I mentioned. And I don't charge for extra like no ppv there's no paywalls i love tips don't get me wrong but (laughs) and you don't bombard everybody with uh with messages you know yeah i don't more pay-per-view yeah no i don't shoot out the personal dms um you'll get a welcome message when you join but i don't send out the mass messages asking people to buy my videos so very cool. You guys get access to everything. So nice. There's a little bit of everything on there. Yeah. There's there's boy girl. There's girl girl. There's MFMs. Uh, I believe there's uh, not really a couple swap because we were both with our own partner. So it was a couple couple next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. There's um and solo stuff and yeah. I mean there's yeah. a little bit of everything on there and hopefully soon we'll have some more um content. Yeah, definitely. With some other people. Yeah, we would love that. And if you guys are within the Chicagoland area uh, and you are creators of OnlyFans. Yeah, you have to be verified. That makes everything so much easier. And I will have to say, man, and I've said this on plenty of episodes, all the guys, they're like, yeah, I want to shoot with you guys. I want to yeah. make, make content. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, you have to get verified on OnlyFans. Well, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. What? Okay, yeah. well, well, then you can't. If you guys can't take that extra step to get in my pants, then sorry, <laughs> not my problem. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you know, we've and, and I've I've said it to guys that have hit us up. I'm like, well, right now, you know, for for single guys, we want to film it and put it on OnlyFans. So absolutely. So really, right now, we we're only open to guys that are. Verified creators, and yeah. creators, yeah, because uh, our time is limited. And- exactly, and that's the thing. Um, you know, my uh, yeah, exactly. Our time is limited, so we don't have. You know, some guy on my OnlyFans, you know, made a comment like, "Yeah, some people are all about it for the money. I just like to, you know, do it and enjoy it." I was like, "Well, you know, being an exhibitionist, we film it anyways. That's what we like to do. You know, we like to share it, and that's ultimately, you know, why we did that." And um, but yeah, I guess some guys see that that way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've I've had guys that went out and signed up for only for to be a verified OnlyFans, you know, creator out there. Yeah, and they're like, all right, I'm verified. Let's fuck. And it's like, hold on, buddy. I I didn't say just because you verified that we're gonna fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well <laughs> that, right, there is, yeah. There is more of a process than just having OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I don't just fuck anybody who signs up for my page or who sends me a message on Fed or whatever. Yeah. It's not like that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's the life and times of uh, a porn creator. And uh, speaking of creating porn, I had watched a movie earlier this week. Yeah. It was on Showtime. I believe that's the the paid one that we, we get, right? Showtime? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it was called Pleasure. Okay. And, you know, I was skipping, you know, skimming through movies and that, and I'm like, oh, you know, this chick is trying to break into the world of porn, and it's like a newer movie. I think it just came out last year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I started watching it, and... This movie totally got me like 
hooked on on and just had me in depth into this movie. Yeah. Where it was like intense and you just felt dirty almost <laughs> for for you know the business, I guess. This chick comes over from I don't know, from a, another country. She's from Sweden or something like that. And mm-hmm. she wants to come to America to become a porn star. She she flew over here to become a porn star. So she never did porn overseas. No, no. So she's like a porn virgin. Yeah. Or porn star virgin, if you will. Yeah, exactly. Okay, no experience. No experience. And she, you know, right off the bat, you know, wow. gets gets put on to with a guy and uh the she was apprehensive at first and you know of course. you know, they kinda t- sat there and talked her through it and you know she went full balls into it. Mm-hmm. You, know, you could definitely tell that this chick wanted to to be a porn star. Okay. But then she started going down the rabbit holes of, well, I want to be one of the biggest porn stars. How do I become one of the biggest porn stars? Right. So she's like trying to find her niche. Yeah. So she started getting into more of the BDSM stuff. Well, okay. she had a good experience with BDSM. You know, it was, you know, very, it looked like this, it was a very well run porn studio, you know, with the director, it was a female director and. You know, they had, you know, a rigging team and stuff like that. And then the actor comes in, fucks her. And, you know, she had a really good time with it. Yeah. Then she's like, okay, well, I'm a BDSM person. Okay. So she goes and gets with another company. Okay. To film something. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want to me, this and that. And so these guys fully went full balls on her, like choking her, raping her, and stuff like that. And it was one of the most intense scenes I've ever seen in a movie before. But it really wouldn't be rape, though, if she's consenting to this and she did say, I'm down for anything, even though that's kind of stupid because you're not laying down your perimeters because anything is very broad. Yeah. But, it, you know, from you could see where from the, her first being the awesome experience was how drastically different it was yeah. like from a good experience yeah. to, you know, Oh my God, over the line. Yeah. This was like, you know, the first experience was in a studio, you know, had, it was very, very well lit and everything like that. And yeah. then she goes to this place where it was a couch and then two dudes. Yeah. And get more like the real gritty type. Yeah. Yeah, scene. and, and yeah, I get it. You know, and they stopped the scene halfway through because she started crying and telling them to stop and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so it, it was funny because you know during the scene these guys are beating the fuck out of her and raping her and stuff like that, and then they just stop when she stopped and they're like consoling her, so like oh it's just you know we're just making a movie here, right? And you know and I'm, I'm like it was just weird how how intense it was. And how dirty it made you feel. Yeah. You know, she's just sitting there bawling. And then the director's like, oh, you know, do you want to keep going? You can quit now if you want. And she's like, well, give me a minute and we'll go back and start doing it again. Mm -hmm. So they take their minute. Then they start doing it. And then she stops it again. She's like, fuck it. I can't do it. I'm I'm just going to go. Wow. And then the director snaps right there. Yeah. He's like, he's like, well, fuck you. You're costing us money. You're right. costing me money. You know, this and that, and making wow. her feel like a piece of shit. And I'm like, man, I wonder how bad. I'm the sure that happens, is. And, and that's the thing. I'm, yeah, this is only a movie, but I'm sure it happens. I'm sure worse happens. I've read stories of crazy shit happening of a porn star who was kind of in a similar situation like that, yeah. and. um yeah, it was kind of a, a big thing, and nobody believed her, and it was just really fucked up. And yeah. Um, yeah, so even though that was a movie, it's still very believable because that shit does happen. Yeah, and you know, so he's sitting here berating her about you know she's never gonna make it in the business and blah blah blah. Yeah. you know, trying to make her feel like a total piece of shit. Mm-hmm. She ends up ha- going through with it, and just the scene of her driving home after this had happened legitimately it looked like somebody that yeah it was a staged rape but you could definitely tell that to her she just got raped right where she pulled herself over to the side of the road and starts puking and stuff yeah. like that and it's just the emotional trauma of 
that because I guess, yeah, you say you're open to everything, but you're naive to the BDSM world. You know, some little chick from Sweden who has no idea about anything, and then all of a sudden, because she had one cool, nice scene, (laughs) all of a sudden she's into it. Like, you know, there's a lot of hardcore motherfuckers out there that, yeah, don't fuck around. And, you know, it's kind of fucked up how those guys can, you know, be so hardcore and, you know, slapping you around and this and that. And then, you know, when you say your safe word or whatever, all of a sudden it's like, oh, you okay? You know, and yeah, they just yeah, like right. switch like that. Yeah. And then, and then when you're like, no, I'm done. Then they're like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the movie went on. You would think that after this experience, she would be like, oh, you know, I'm going to fucking quit. So she yeah. called her mom over in Sweden. Her mom's like, you know, just suck it up. You know, you went over, you went over there for a reason. Don't let them hold you down. Blah blah blah. Giving her a pep talk. I'm like, did mom know what she was doing over there? I think so. Okay. They never really went into it. Gotcha. Uh, but so she ended up staying in America and still wanted to do this porn thing. Okay. So she started becoming, you know, a little bit bigger and bigger. And then she's like, "How's it going to get me way over the top?" Yeah. Well, at the beginning of the movie, she was animate that she was never going to do anal or anything. She's like, I, I don't want to do anal. This now night. she's a butt slut. <laughs> well, now she is. After <laughs> she, she it was so fucked up because uh, she ended up, you know, because if you're going to go big, go big or go home, right? Yeah. So she did a double blacked scene with two black guys. Oh, jeez. And they both fucked her ass at the same time. Oh, my fucking God. And then she, after that scene, she became one of the biggest porn stars. Oh, I'm sure. Because that's like, hard, yeah, I mean, that's hardcore shit that's going to put you out there. Because who does that? Right. Yeah. So then she became, you know, top of the world. What and then she once when she was on top of the world, then it wasn't as great as she thought it was going to be. Yeah. And, you know. That's what happens. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty intense movie. If you want to see it, like I said, it's called Pleasure. Yeah, I Showtime. haven't watched it. You told me about it. But yeah, because there, yeah, there was another there was another really intense scene. It was towards the end of the movie because there was another chick that was trying to climb the the charts as well, mm-hmm. and she was stepping all over this chick. It's competition. Yeah, you know, and she was nasty to this the Sweden chick or yeah. whatever, and you know because she was already at the top and trying to hold her down. Well, now they are on the same level, mm-hmm. and they had to shoot a scene together. Oh, and she faked saying, you know, she was being told to go down on the Swedish girl, and she's like, "Oh, she, her pussy's nasty, and you know, she's got a yeast infection, blah blah blah." So oh, she geez. she went, she refused to work with her. Wow. So the director's like, "I know how to fix this," and he gets a strap on and gives it to the Swedish chick and tells her to fuck her, and she could just tell that the Swedish chick just something in her brain just snapped because mm-hmm. it was like. Like I said, this movie had a lot of intense scenes. Yeah. And she just, it looked like she went into that whole rape mode that happened to her that she started to do on this other chick. She got all aggressive on, on her. Yeah. 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 Wow. It was it was intense. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely say go out and watch that. It's called Pleasure on Showtime. I'm pretty sure you could probably find it somewhere else. But yeah, it, it definitely is a, a, a good, and I don't know if it's a, Accurate representation of the... Like a true story. Well, it's not saying it's a true story, but is it? Is that how it really is in the porn business? I'm sure it is, yeah. It's some pr- production companies. Like I said, I've, I've heard stories from porn stars trying to make it big and shitty shit happens on set and it's, yeah, it's, it's fucked up. Yeah. Drugs involved and shady shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't hear the, the least of it. Yeah, and if... And I know that there are porn stars that listen to the show because they follow us on on Instagram and stuff like that. You know, they they initiate the follow to us. That's awesome. Uh, so if they are listening to the show, you know, we've never done an interview on the show, but I would love we could Skype an interview with because I have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> we could Skype an interview if you are in the actual porn business. I'm not talking about you know the OnlyFans creators. They're like, oh, I'm a porn. Yeah, creator. like a legit production company porn yeah. industry experience. Yeah. Like out in California, 
you know. Yeah. I don't know where else. It, I don't know the porn scene's real big in New York. You always think California when you hear, you know, all the yeah. big uh, porn companies. But, um, yeah, that would uh, be pretty cool to get some insight. And I'm sure it's not all like that, but I'm sure there is um, definitely a lot of shady shit going on and bad experiences and um, girls being taken advantage of by greedy producers and greedy dudes who are just trying to bang them. Yeah, because there's not too many movies that after I watch it, I just sit there and you know contemplate because like I watched think, it before I went yeah. to bed, you know. And you think you're watching a movie about porn and shit, you're gonna jerk off before you go to bed. <laughs> no, not me. I, I was sitting there actually like, fuck, you know, I'm traumatized from this movie. Like, man, I'm not gonna watch porn anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> fuck porn, you know. Is this how it's gonna be in the porn business? But yeah, it was. You know, even days afterwards, you know, it was mind fucking me. Yeah. So. It sounds like it now because you keep talking about it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, you about ready to get into our DM slides of the week? Yeah, we can talk about some DM slides. Our fan favorite section of the mo- uh, movie. <laughs> Got the movie stuck in my brain now. Of the podcast. You want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Um, I'll go first. I have it here. Um, I got this today. Actually, I posted my Titty Tuesday picture on FET. And Ooh, this is a fresh DM. Yeah, 10 hours ago. So... Um, this DM is still mooing. <laughs> <laughs> so the the title of the DM, could I fuck your feet and come on your toes? I've always wanted to and figured you could use my cock for some content creating if you'd be down. <laughs> this is a 24 male. <laughs> you know, and, and you, you sent that to me and you're like, well, this is the first for me. Yeah. And you're like, well, no, it's not. I've said it before. I that said is, before. That's different. I'm talking about like a random DM slide or someone, um, you know, who's like a fan of mine. Yeah. That's it, a first. Yeah. And, and it was funny because it made me think because I think one of our very first conversations we were talking on Tinder, and you were like, is there any kinks or whatever? I'm like, yeah, I'm a foot guy. I like to fuck feet. <laughs> no, I don't remember talking about that specifically. And yeah, because you were like, "Well, I don't like my feet touched." I'm like, yeah, you I'm said like, something oh, about feet, and I was flag. like, "Yeah, you're probably not going to be too <laughs> thrilled." But yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of my feet being touched, and I, I never really had been. I just, I don't know, I just didn't didn't like it. But you know, you uh, I you, you up were to. patient with me, and and yeah, you you've definitely uh, opened up um, that piece, I guess. And and you know, I, I let you touch my feet. There are some times after. There are some times where it's a bit too much for me, and I'll tell you to stop or yeah. something like that. But but overall, I have let you play with my feet. Yeah, and it's really hot because you got really nice feet, and they're tattooed on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so fucking sexy. And uh, we went Black Friday shopping this week. We did. And we were out in the mall and came yep. across this window where it had some heels in it, and we're like, fuck, those heels are hot. Yeah, they were pretty uh, sexy heels. They were uh, like a bright blue color, and they had the spikes on them. And I'm not really a big heel wearer because I'm not one to wear heels out just out and about. Yeah, and you can't walk in heels for no, shit. No, I can't walk in heels. So, <laughs> um, But we bought them, you know, just for, you know, the bedroom play. And, yeah, and they were fucking smoking hot. Yeah, they're fucking hot. And I went off on that pussy. <laughs> yeah, you did, definitely. It was really hot. I've never, you know, because I've never really had a proper pair of high heels, I guess. I've had, you know, other shoes and stuff like that, but. Yeah, like wedges and stuff. Yeah, but those were like, I guess, right up your alley because, yeah, you you definitely uh, Heck yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're fucking sexy. And, you know, it was funny because you put them on and you're like, I can't stand in these very long. So take a couple pictures. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thing is, they're, they're a little tight by the toes. Um, they just need to be stretched out a little bit. And, you know, it's just me getting used to wearing them, ultimately, because I don't wear high heels. Yeah. It puts your foot in a fucking uncomfortable position, and you're basically walking on your tippy toes. Uh, while I'm thinking here, do you have, like, pictures in that on your fet life of your, your feet to where he was like, yeah, I want to fuck your feet? Um, I, you know, not, you don't have to scroll through your 900 pictures or yeah, something, but you would have really. had to done a deep dive. If- There's only 449 pictures, come on. <laughs> um, no, not really. I mean, there's maybe a couple, 
on there. I did post the heel picture, so unless uh, he was referring okay. to that. Yeah, okay, yeah, because that heel picture has my dick between the heels. Yes, oh. so we, you, <laughs> um, you know, I was l- laying on the edge of the bed, and you put your cock on the heels, and I was like, ooh, I know those are a little spiky yeah, here. Yeah, because the, the, there are some sharp spikes on these heels. And yes. It, and it was hot because, yes. you know, I, I pressed your, your feet together against my cock, and I could... It, you know, it was like one of those pleasure pain things. I get it. You know, it was fucking hot. Yeah, it was definitely hot. And you're and you're like, you got pussy juice on my shoes. <laughs> oh yeah, because you would just fuck me beforehand. And then yeah, I looked down at my shoes and I see cum all over my shoe. Yeah, brand new shoes and you get cum on them. Yeah. But they, you know, it's not like you're going out and wearing those. Yeah, they're cum shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're they're, they're, get... they're fuck me shoes. Exactly. They're, yeah, but they're fucking hot. How 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 does uh what's your name? The fuck me pumps. Yeah, the com- well, fuck me boots. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse song. was the fuck me pumps. Yeah, that's yep. yep. All right, so uh, my DM slide is also from Fet Life. All right. Uh, but uh, this is kind of this is only six days old, so mine's not as fresh, but it's still fresh. Yeah. Uh, this guy is a 26 male, uh, in our town even. He goes, I was just checking out your page, and it seems like we have an absolute blast. Please, if you're interested in me, maybe we can chat a bit and see where it goes. Well, the thing is with FetLife, you can uh, tag yourself as something. Yes. Uh, like me, I have like Swinger and you have like Exploring. Or Correct. Something. Is that the same guy? Uh, yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, because um, I when you said uh, I had an absolute blast, I was like, oh, that rung a bell because six days ago he sent me a message saying the same thing. So so obviously he didn't read our profile saying to see, oh, no. message me first. No, so this guy is just me. probably messaging everyone. Yeah. With his, yeah, I was just checking out your page and yep. it seems like we'd have an absolute blast. Yep. Please, Please, if, if you're you interested. interested in me, maybe we could chat a bit and see where it goes. Yep, same exact one. He copy and pasted. <laughs> and the question mark is a space after the end where it yes. goes. Yep. Yep, copy and pasted yep, it. Copy and pasted it. So he probably blasted this out to everyone looking wow. to see who would bite. That's funny. Okay, sorry, it just triggered that when you said absolute blast. Uh, but you know, on Fat Life, like I said, you can tag yourself. And Correct. at the time, he was a 27 male Dom. Of course, he was. And we have talked about this before, but we are on episode 41. Yes. So this is probably buried into the archives. It is. We have a thing to where we don't play with Doms. Correct. It's just not our style of play when we're playing with another guy. We don't like really the type of attitude they have, just like the the personality, just like the whole vibe they got going on. Yeah. Not really our thing. Yeah. And on Fat Life, it's not like they give you Dom right off the bat. Correct. You have to select this. Correct. So uh so I'm like, sorry, unfortunately we don't play with Doms. Uh best of luck on your search. Yes. So at that you say thank you and move on. Correct. Right? No. He goes, I have no idea how to switch that. That's Ugh. not the case. I'll get it switched. Oh, my god! So he switched it to exploring. Of course. I'm like, man. Why couldn't he have done that in, to begin with? Because, of course, he wanted, I'm going to put Dom. Because that's what a lot of guys do coming into this, like, the kink scene, thinking they're going to be all, like, yeah. the Dom guy. And, and he's got two pictures posted on his... Uh, on his page. Yeah. And it's both of him with his tongue sticking out. You know, there's no cockpit or nothing like that. I'm like, first of all, I don't know about if it's just me, but pictures of guys with just their tongue sticking out does absolutely nothing. Yes. Well, I see that he did post a new picture today. Oh, yeah? And it's um, a package of toys and, like, it looks like a <laughs> sex swing Maybe some bed restraints. I see like a little vibrator, that rose sucker thing. Oh jeez. Yeah. So he's he's preparing to to do some damage on somebody, huh? Yeah, he's definitely getting ready. Well, this wasn't all that he posted. He sent me another one. He goes, switched it. Uh, the problem mm-hmm. was that they popped up, and I hit the red X to continue, but it never deleted it. Hope it doesn't pull me from the <laughs> race. The like, race. Like the fucking, I have oh buddies for gangbangs and a couple of women that love to play with couples and loves the center of attention. 
Uh, and I go, he goes, sorry, last time I'll bug you because yesterday he sent me a message because I didn't reply to him. Okay. You know, if I said we're not, we're interested, not interested, we're not interested. Correct. So stop fucking sending me. Yes. So yesterday he hits me up again. He goes, sorry, last time I'll bug you. Mm-hmm. Just want to make sure I'm out of the race. I'm like, out of the sorry, race. we are not interested. Best of luck. And we are not in a race. So, so there, leave it at that. Mm, yeah. You know, just that, go, go on to yep. your next copy Delete. and paste. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, it's okay. Thanks for the response. I just seen gangbangs on her page and thought I could help. Our last one was 17 guys and she went for six hours straight. She was a champ. Happy hunting. I'm like, cool, dude. I'm like, where on your page are are <laughs> do you see gangbangs? Um, in you know where you can select all oh, your your like interests and stuff that you're into. Um, I know when I signed up. Um, yeah, I put um curious about gangbangs. Oh, so that let him in. So he so that's he where read your. So he must have at least to that part. He must have at least look at the fetishes part. So maybe he was because you can click on things, and that will show everybody who's into gangbangs. So he was probably scrolling through everybody trying to find somebody who you know maybe local to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, I don't know, but but you know, that's a lesson out there to you guys. If you're told no by a couple, just leave it at that. Leave it at that. Say thank you and move on. Yeah. Don't sit there and make it a fight and then come back a week later being like, so uh, is this still a no thing? <laughs> like a week's going to change my mind. Read the room, dude. Read the room. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. So our new story of the week is pretty interesting. You Once again, you come across these, these news stories and you send yes. me the headline and I got to try to go search them up and see what the deal is, if they were real, because... A lot of times, a lot of things you look at are fake news. <laughs> well, I think a lot of things everybody looks at is fake news. So, But this one was real because it was on a bunch of news stations. Yeah. Priest and two women charged after having sex on the church altar, officials say. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Pearl River, Louisiana. A priest and two women were charged after they had sex on a church altar and filmed the interaction, police said. Travis Clark, 37, a former pastor of St. Peter's and Paul Roman Catholic Church, was caught videotaping himself having sex with two dominatrices on the church's altar in September. Wow. So, all right, so not only is he fucking two women, but it's like, Dom women. <laughs> yeah. And I've seen pictures because they have their pictures of their, and, you know, they're heavy, like, yeah, the goth chicks girls. Were, yeah, I saw <laughs> pictures of the chicks. They were like, yeah, the, the goth Dom looking girls. All right. It says uh, the district attorney's office uh, said Clark and the women, Mindy Lynn Dixon, 41 of Washington, and Melissa Kamen Chang, 28 of Georgia, were charged with institutional vandalism on Thursday. So that's vandalism to have sex on a church altar. Huh. Weird. You know, that's actually something that I had talked about doing in my younger years. Having sex on a church altar? In a church, yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't think I would... Never happened. Never, but, yeah, no. I don't think, you know... I'm not going to break into a church and do it, but, you know, you just talk about things, you know, like... Yeah. Hey, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've always things. wanted to have sex like in a cemetery. That's yeah. kind of like that, but not so blasphemous. I don't think. Well, <laughs> 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 why? Because one's claim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I won't start. All right. All three knowingly vandalizing, defacing, or otherwise damaging property and causing damage valued. At over five thousand dollars and under fifty thousand. So were they like chaining him up to the altar, like ripping it off? Like what was the damages they that didn't, were done? Not in the news story, they didn't go into the details. They're I'm, probably just trying to pull something out because they just don't like that they banged on the altar. If they're videotaping it, 
do you, do you think the police confiscated that tape, or is that going to be a tape that's going to show up on somebody's OnlyFans somewhere? I don't know. I would think that if you're being charged with something, that the cops took all the evidence, you and you're so? not going to be allowed to post that. Because clearly there it's, that's a controversy. Now, <laughs> yeah. Now, now this week, all right, so do you think OnlyFans would take that down? I think so. I I believe it would. I believe people would maybe complain about it. Yeah. I don't know. Just, just like you got your video of you fucking a turkey baser this week. Yeah. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Well, we'll go back to the turkey baser. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it? The three were originally charged with obscenity charges because they could clearly be seen from the street, but those charges were reduced to lesser counts of vandalism. It's, mm-hmm. Clear the state went out of its way to contort the facts of this case in order to fit their own narrative, said their um, their lawyer. Once again, they have overstepped their bounds at this nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to regulate the morality of private individuals. Yeah. Just because you don't like something doesn't make it criminal. My clients look forward to their day in court as we continue to fight this baseless allegation. I mean, technically, that's true. What did they do that's that's so wrong? Nothing. It's it's just the, where they were at and what that altar uh, symbolizes to a lot of people. All right. And to finish off the story, and this is what I was like, really? Did you really need to take it this fucking far? Okay. The altar was removed and burned by the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Oh, my God. Archbishop Gregory Allman consecrated a replacement what? altar and Clark was removed from the ministry. Wow. How fucked up is that? That they're like, you well, here, had sex. Yeah, you had sex on this altar. Now it's got to be burned. <laughs> Can't you just like throw holy water on it or something and be like, well, no, because in their <laughs> mind, that's all they're going to see when they see that altar. Some chicks getting bent over in their, their, brother <laughs> is that what you call them banging these chicks i don't know i don't know i don't know i want to see the video though um, that, that video better pop up somewhere yeah i'd watch it <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd definitely watch it yeah uh yeah so uh if you are a minister or a priest don't be fucking at your altars yeah i guess just keep that kinky shit at home you know make an altar at your house yeah it's not so uh blasphemous if yeah, you know, if it comes out because it's not like at a legit church. Yeah, that was, that was pretty pretty fucked up. <laughs> but speaking of videos, um, so yeah, we had we did a whole spread for Thanksgiving uh, in a little apron and uh, you know little sexy thigh highs and stuff. And we took a bunch of photos. We posted them all throughout the day, and then at the end of the day, we posted uh, the video of me. I was like playing with the turkey baster. I was sucking on it, like rubbing it on my tits, and then I put it in my pussy. Yeah. Now, it didn't last, but, you know, a minute or two. It wasn't like some crazy no, no, no. drawn-out thing. Um, you know, so I post it, you know, whatever. I wake up in the morning, and I see my video has been deleted. <laughs> because of terms of service. Yeah, so I violated the terms of service. Now, it took me a few minutes to figure out, like I read through everything, like what am I violating here? No. And then in one of them at the very end, it says you cannot use non-sexual objects uh, for penetration. So a turkey baster you cannot use for penetration on OnlyFans. But how do they determine what is sexual and what is non-sexual? Because I'm sure in their mind, a turkey baster is not to be put in a pussy because... Its use is to baste food. Who says that we didn't purchase this turkey baster from a sex store? Well, (laughs) no, I understand. Because we were talking about that when we went to the sex store. We were like, well, would this count as Because there's a fucking dildo that's in the shape of a hammer. Right. So we were looking at the dildos because dildos are fine. You can fuck yourself all day long with dildos. You could have a, you know, 35-person gangbang You know, and get railed all day long on OnlyFans. But God forbid you put a fucking turkey baster in your pussy because that's just over the fucking line. Yeah, that was fucked up. It's it's like, who who sits there 
and watches these videos. Well, they have people that do it, clearly. I mean, this video was only up for a matter of less than eight hours before it got taken down. Yeah. I don't think anybody complained about it. So um, I had, you know, that other chick, she mentioned that she had a video taken down because she put a lollipop in her pussy. Same thing. Lollipop is not to be, you know, used for penetration. But you see that shit in porn, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it ties to, but they have certain rules. You know, like you can't, um, you know, like no urine. You know, they have a whole yeah. list of oh, whole list of things hitting the mic here. But yeah, they have a li- whole list of things that you can't do. Yeah, that's it was. Yes, it was like you said. It was a matter of seconds that you had your had it in your vagina, and yeah, and it, there, you know, there's somebody like oh no, and he hits the delete button. Got to hit the delete button. She's yeah, got a turkey waster. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's weird because yeah we went to the sex store and they had a dildo in the shape of a hammer yeah and you're like well would this can I use this technically I'm buying it at a sex store I mean that would be something that you would have to probably um, you know fight with and yeah and I've seen chicks like promote like on Reddit and stuff like that they're like oh go to my OnlyFans page to watch what I do with this bat or watch what I do with this golf club or whatever. Well, maybe those are just ploys to get them in, and then they're not really. Then doing they're like, "Side bitch, this isn't really on there, right?" <laughs> <laughs> or they're just posing with it, or you know, but not putting it in their vagina. Yeah, because I've seen chicks on uh, like you know traffic cones. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> and I've actually seen a traffic cone dildo. Uh, it was you know it's not like huge or anything like a regular traffic cone. It's probably like oh, maybe about but it, the a, shape of what yeah foot or foot and a half yeah know, but it looks like a thing and then we were talking about the ovipositors oh right. would they boot that off because ovipositor is like an alien type dildo thing that has you make jelly eggs right it you pop it into this dildo and then you squeeze put the dildo in your pussy and you squeeze these eggs into your vagina it deposits eggs yeah like gelatin eggs would they take that off because I don't know. The gelatin eggs is gelatin. Right. Technically, that's not used for, I I don't know. I mean, technically, the use of those is to put them in my vagina. So they'd probably delete it, and I'd probably have to fight it. Yeah. That's I don't know, weird. but I definitely want to uh, get one of those ovipositor things, because that seems kind of uh, interesting. It's very intriguing. Yeah, so if you're a listener out there and want to buy you a Christmas present, yeah, hit me up. Yeah, hit her up. We'll get you the deets working there right to us. You can send an email to bbpineappleg at yahoo.com. And you will get your very own video of her popping those puppies into her own vagina. Oh, hell yeah, you will. <laughs> if you get her that OV positor. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move on to our sexy story of the week. And this week we actually have somebody wrote into us. All right. And when they wrote into us, they go, do you want... Bad stories are good stories. I'm like, usually we keep the bad stories for, for uh, like Halloween. Usually. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Uh, yeah. But their bad story was relatively short, so I'll read it. So they gave me one bad, one good. Okay. Here is the bad one. Uh, we met this couple on an app, Three Fun, and we all decided to go to their house instead of ours. No big deal. We'll get there about 8 p.m. and chat and talk for about one and a half, one and a half hours. And uh, it was kind of weird that they had no boundaries but weren't into kissing. And, you know. I, I, no boundaries but they weren't into kissing? Yeah. no. Okay. Bo- well, that's a boundary. Well, yeah, that's a boundary. And I, I get it. There's some couples that think kissing is something that they should keep between themselves. Yeah. And, you know, when I first got into the swinging thing, you know, I was like, oh, you know, kissing, you know, that's just not. Not really. Not really my thing. Yeah. And, you know, then I seen one guy that we had over started kissing on you. And I'm like, fuck, that's hot. Because typically, you know, with our first few meets, you, you're not kissing these guys. You, it's just pure on full on Yeah, fucking no, them. there's very little, yeah, like making out before you start like that kind of foreplay shit. Yeah. You know, normally I... Foreplay includes uh, their cock in my mouth. Yeah, because even when I was a bull, I'd never really, I can't even remember ever making out with like, like a hot wife or anything like that. Yeah. To where it was always just, you know, I go in there and sling the dick. Yeah, that's and, pretty you know, much but, what you're there but for. But I, I definitely found it really sexy when the, the one guy, you and him, were kind of making out. And I was like, wow, I'm 
Yeah, we I talked dig, about that. I yeah, this. I mean, it was never a boundary with us, but yeah, it was just something that yeah, never really happened with some of the guys. So. All right, so uh, going on with the story. So her hubby isn't my normal type, but no big deal. <laughs> Wife is my hubby's type and very bi, so we had some fun together. So she took one for the team. Sounds like yep. so they could get to the wife. Had some fun together, and then the husbands each joined in, and the fucking was going well. Then here we hear steps upstairs while we're in the middle of fucking. We said, are there other people here? Oh, God. <laughs> they then let us know that they have kids, which oh. is fine, but said, don't worry, they'll go back to sleep. Oh, my God. Well, they did not go back to sleep and came downstairs knocking on the door. <laughs> ha 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 he left and took them upstairs and my hubby and i finished with her extremely quiet and got the hell out of there <laughs> <laughs> oh well that was a little um better ending than the one story you mentioned where a kid actually walked in walked on in and the, the dude was like yeah, yeah i'm done I'll peace <laughs> out Yep. I'm just railing your mom. Yep. Don't, mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me. And I'm not your dad. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, and we've talked and we've talked about it before where we were with a couple and their kids were right yeah. down the hallway. Yeah. You know, we knew the kids were there. Yeah. You know, unlike here where they were it like It was like a surprise. It was a yeah. surprise that their kids were there. Yeah, uh, if you're going to have kids there, just fucking announce it. Yeah, at least tell them. Yeah, right. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to be allowed and shit. Yeah. I don't think I could ever be like, okay, honey, let's invite somebody over while my kids are. Here. Fuck no, <laughs> hell no, that's fucking weird. Let's be quiet. Even when I was single, I, you know, I didn't have women over here, and you know, just when your to, kids are here, my kids are here just right. to randomly bang some broad. Right. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. All right, so. We got a good hookup story. All right. And I didn't read this one beforehand, so this one is as new to me as mm-hmm. it is to you. All right. Uh, we were tipsy and decided to have some fun, checked Reddit, and had a message from an amazing guy. He's had a six-pack, 10-incher, and fit all the requirements. Invited him over, and he was immediately on the way, so as we waited, we played. Hubby made me squirt a few times and licked me clean for a guest coming. He gets here, and it's straight to business, and he took full control, but respectfully, so it was so fucking hot. And that's the one thing. You know, you have a yeah, I get, you know, some people want guys coming in and just fucking take over the shit, but right. at least this guy was respectful. Yeah, well, and, yeah, there's a proper way to do it, though. Yeah, because that's one of the, our our things is that we don't want guys coming in here thinking that they're, they're top shit. And, yeah, no, they're not coming in to take over our bedroom, like. No. Yeah, not going to happen. Uh, he was the biggest I've ever had, and I was nervous, but he undressed me, and I undressed him. I started sucking him and really enjoyed it, and he must have because he grabbed me by the throat and made me stand up. Not hard, but uh, not a hard grab, by the way. And I went to kiss him, and he turned me around and forced me over the bed and slid his cock in me, and still the best cock I've ever had. Hubby was recording and stroking himself, and after I tapped out from getting pounded, uh, me and Hubby did a 69 so he could taste his cock and my cum all together. That's pretty That's fucking, fucking hot. hot. I love that. While we're going at it, our new bull climbs on the bed and starts fucking me with balls rubbing against the Hubby's face. And I have to say, <laughs> yeah. you know. I I fucking love that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've had that firsthand. Yeah. Was... I fucking love it. And I posted like a a clip, you know, a short little clip on Reddit for like a teaser. Yeah. Of us in that position. That, yeah. And you know, guys are like, that's fucking gross, dude. You got balls in your face. People said that? Yeah. Really? It, it, it's unbelievable how many people made derogatory comments about, oh, Gross, dude. I bet you're down there sucking his dick like a bitch. Oh, my fucking God. It was the fucking hottest experience that we had with a dude. Yeah. And this was like a MFM subreddit. So Really? Yeah. It, it, so you're seeing two dudes fucking one chick all the time on there. And these guys are like, well, that's fucking gay, dude. You got balls in your face. Oh, my God. Yeah. So. Uh, wow. That's still... I mean, it, it, I know it shouldn't shock me, but it's just fucked up. 
All right. While we were going at it, our new bull climbs on top. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't think hubby would like it, but he kept going, so I was extremely into it. I was coming, and he pulled out and put his cock on my hubby's face, and he started sucking my juices off his big cock. Pretty hot. I've never seen hubby do this, and was instantly the horniest I've ever been. <laughs> so hubby was sucking him dry, and I squirted on his face. Fucking hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Uh, while he had the cock in there. Long story short... We are all about to finish, and he is making me feel the best I have ever had and gets up and busts all over my face and tits. I prefer cream pies, but still sexy. So instead of having hubby add to the facial, I started riding him with cum dripping off my face and tits and leaned down to his face, and we start making out with a cum, and he instantly blew up inside of me. Fucking hot. I'm satisfied and happy at this point and exhausted. But Bull wasn't done. He bent me over while still on top of Hubby and gave me a sloppy seconds within a minute of fucking. And we had the greatest mess of the time (laughs) of my life. That's awesome. It's fucking hot. Definitely. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a fucking hot ass story. Yes, definitely a better ending than uh, than the kids. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Yeah, but I have to say that you know that was probably sounds just like our experience. Yeah, very similar, you know, in regards to kind of what happened and what they did. Yeah, definitely something sounds like something we would do. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely can't wait till we get Madison guy back down here to to repeat that performance. Yeah, for sure. And uh, he did say he was up to coming down when we were in Lake Geneva. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I I know. I, I going on a work trip. Um, Usually people that I work with are next door. Like you we'll all, just be quiet. We're all put in the same room. You think I can be quiet with a fucking cock in me? Come on. Oh, that big ten inch cock in you? Yeah, come on. That's not gonna happen. So um so, so, so ideally that would not be cool to be um banging dudes while I'm at work. So, so when we get hear. there, we'll be like, Oh, this room is crap. Move us to the building C. <laughs> then we'll have Madison down to uh, to really. Well, we'll have to see what happens and like, I'm not. I can't promise anything, you know. Damn. And here's the thing, like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be working all day, and then we have dinner. I'm not gonna really have a lot of time. I mean, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know you're gonna go with me, but you know, and I, I told you that, you know that. No. I mean, yeah, you'll you'll can probably go to the dinners with us and stuff, but. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about making content there. We'll have to see. I don't know. Yeah, because I was thinking, you know, because I was like, man, we could, you know, film some stuff with us, and you know, I want to do the whole, you know, you've asked for extra towels, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Room service. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was thinking, I'm like, man, you know, the other day when you were looking for something to uh, to wear for a shoot we were doing, mm-hmm. and uh, I was like, man, we should just bring these two bins. The entire bins when we go to Lake Geneva for that week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And to make some content. Yeah, I mean, I'm down, but you have to remember I'm there for work. I'm not there to be making content. I don't. Yeah, but you're there. You get the whole night to yourself. Well, right. I'm just not going but... now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine, but <laughs> but no, I'm just. Saying like I'm not gonna stay up till two, three in the morning making content. You don't gotta go anywhere. <laughs> I have to sit in a boring ass fucking meeting You'd all day long. Out. Come <laughs> when? All right, we'll take this argument off here. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Maybe we might have a story coming. No, up. <laughs> we'll have. You know, we'll definitely make content. But in regards to having someone else there, like if if I have a, a coworker as my fucking neighbor and we share a fucking wall, that's not going to happen. No. Well, yeah. So <laughs> because I don't want them, I cannot have the my um, 
crazy sex life like bleed into you know the the work okay the work life we won't we won't have sex we'll be mormons or whatever <laughs> I'm not while we're there. saying that come on <laughs> i'm just saying you know no gang bang at the hotel <laughs> oh god damn it we're at a hotel all right like i said we'll take this argument off air uh but i was thinking for next week's episode maybe we will do our live episode through our Discord, I'm thinking we might when? give it, we might give it a try next week for next week's oh, show. Okay, we'll we'll tentatively <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, set I that know, up. Yeah, because watch me set it up and your son calls in fucking work that night or some shit. Oh, then, then we'll cut it off and call it. You know, <laughs> well, we didn't record an episode this week. <laughs> All right, so uh, so maybe we'll we'll dive into actual having a live audience. What do, you th- what do you think about that? Does it make you nervous? No? No. Okay, very cool. So we'll we'll maybe try that next week. Game plan? All right. All right. Another thing we got to argue about when we get off this. <laughs> we don't fucking argue. <laughs> Come on. All right. So uh, where can they find this podcast? So you can check us out on fullswapradio.com. Uh, you can listen to our shows Monday, 8 a.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. And you can also find us on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod. Yep. And on the Instagram, you can find the Discord uh, link is in the link tree that is in our bio. Yeah. So you go and hit that and join our Swinger Discord of almost 20,000 swingers. Yep. And that's where I'll have the link for the, the show. So Yeah, for the live show. So, so I guess if you are interested in... Uh, yeah, joining us live. Go check that out. Yep. It'll be through YouTube. So, you know, can't show boobies. No, I'll, you, have, to, you, you I'll could, have to keep the clothes on. You could wear a bikini top or something. Yeah. Yeah, it, you can show bikini tops and stuff. Well, uh, yeah. The I, video's not going to stay out there. It's no, the, the whole live is live. Is, yeah. I get it. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, once again, another conversation we'll have <laughs> off air. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, as always, make sure to leave a review on Apple Podcast and leave us a star review on Spotify. And I do know that the end of your uh, things go out on Spotify here in a little bit. So, Oh, like the review yeah, things your, that your, people your send? Yeah, your yearly review. Yeah. We'll see how many we chart. Yeah, that'd be cool. So if you guys, if we chart on your Spotify, you know, replay, whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, you know, send us a picture. You know, DM us a picture wherever or yeah, send us or, an email. Um, yeah, on Instagram. You can tag us on Instagram. Or... Yeah, we would love yeah. to show that off. Yeah, that would be awesome. So, you guys can make sure to do that. All right, I'm your host. My name is Jay. And I'm Sexy Me. And as always, stay kinky. Stay kinky, you motherfuckers. <laughs>